I'm sure as uh, some of y'all have heard, you know, after uh, uh, the concussion I suffered in the uh, Kansas State game, you know, I uh, started talking to my uh, the team doctors and the trainers and uh, my coaches. And uh, after uh, talking with them, you know, we uh, decided that my best the best decision for me and my future is to uh, stop playing uh, football uh, at the University of Texas. And, uh, you know, I'll still be uh, helping the running backs out, you know, whatever way I can, but as far as playing, uh, I'm done playing. Um, <laughs> it was real hard. You know, I, uh, I love the game of football. You know, it's something I've been doing uh, ever since I can remember. You know, I've always been around the game of football. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it's going to be hard. You know, I'm going to miss it a lot. But, you know, after – Talking with the doctors, you know, and going through the different concussion tests that they have you go through, um, it, uh, it's just something that, you know, a decision I had to make, you know, based on my future, you know, and just making sure that I won't have problems later on in life. Right, you know, you know, uh, the doctors look at each concussion, you know, they take us through uh, several tests, you know, and then, just my off of my recovery from this one, you know, they just advise, you know, I've had a few in the past and they just advise, advise me that, you know, I should really consider and look at my future, you know, my long term, because, you know, uh, as hard as it is for me and as much as I love football, you know, you have to look at the future and, you know, I, I just don't want to have problems, you know, later on in life. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a process, you know, you know, it's a process just like any other injury, you know, the, the doctors told me your, your brain has to recover and, you know, it's, it's, it, you might feel fine, you know, physically and things like that, but, you know, they, they did a great job, you know, giving, giving me research on concussions and things like that. And plus, you know, the coaching, the coaching staff, you know, coach Brown and coach Applewhite have been, uh, big supporters in my decision and, you know, they left it up to me and, you know, uh, they've, They've always looked at uh, my best interest and what's better for me in the future, and so they've been a tremendous support for me throughout this process. And, and obviously it's been bad, you know, playing football for forever. Right. Um, did you have any, like, words over the phone? Like, what did you have to say to us? Like, did anything go wrong with you on the phone? Right. You know, uh, our, our, head, our head trainer and our head physician, you know, set – me and my parents sound both and, you know, present us with all the facts with concussions and what could result later on in life. And, uh, you know, both my mom and my dad, you know, they uh, they left the decision up to me. But, you know, it, whatever I had decided, you know, they were going to support me either way. And they were just behind me 100 percent. And they just said, you know, think about it, pray about it, you know, and just you have to look at your future. Because, you know, as much as I as much as I love football and this is a tough decision for me, you know, it's not everything. So, you know, I can still, right now I'm trying to work on my degree in uh, corporate communication, I plan to graduate next December, you know, and hopefully start my master's, or working on my graduate degree, so. When did you like the decision? Um, you know, after uh, last week, you know, the, the doctor set me down and they talked to me about it. And, uh, you know, I just took all last week just to pray about it, you know. And just uh, pray to God, you know, ask me for guidance and ask him for, for help, you know, because this is one of the toughest decisions I've had to make. And, uh, you know, I, all through the week, you know, the trainers were presenting me with facts and things so I could ha make a more knowledgeable decision. And then uh, this weekend, you know, I just sat down with my parents and we prayed and talked about it. And that's how I came to the decision. Uh, no, not really. I mean, each concussion is different for everybody. You know, everybody handles them. Everybody has, uh, everybody's symptoms are different. So, you know, I just looked at the facts that uh, our doctors and trainers gave me on how I was recovering from this one and what what this could mean in the future for me. So I just took those facts and uh, made my decision. Um. I mean, you know, you know, with concussions, a lot of people want to get into the numbers, but I mean, numbers isn't really like there's not a set number of concussions that set, can say, oh, you have to stop playing. You know, 
you just have to look at each one differently. And, you know, and I've had enough where it raised a lot of concern with the doctors. And so uh, I had to make this decision. Um, I don't know if it was something about the last one specifically. You know, each one's scary. You know, when you're talking about your brain, you know, that's, that's a serious thing. And uh, just the way I was recovering from this one, you know, it rose, recovering from this concussion, it rose more concern with our doctors. You know, they do a great job putting me through all the tests and making sure that my safety's first, you know, because me naturally, you know, I just want to get out there as fast as possible. But, you know, they take time and make sure you, that you fully recover. And, you know, this is what they've advised me, and uh, I trust them 100% in the decision I made. Trey, I remember when you came to high school, you were talking about getting injuries. Does that make it a little bit easier knowing that, you know, with injury and, and the classes, you know, it's still going to make you feel safe and confident and accomplished? Yeah, yeah, it makes it a little easier. You know, uh, you know, I guess the main thing I'm going to miss is just going out there um, on the field with the guys every Saturday. That's, that, that's really going to be hard. But like I said, you know, Coach Applewhite, Coach Brown, they've been tremendous support for me throughout this. And, you know, uh, I'm still, I'm still going to be going to classes, you know, getting my degree. And so I guess my goals and priorities have changed a little bit. But one of my main priorities have always been to graduate, you know, and get my degree from the University of Texas. And I'm just uh, extremely grateful that Coach Brown has allowed me, you know, to stay a student athlete, even though I won't be playing on the fields, you know, and just – give me a chance to uh, help me out later on in life, you know, by getting my degree and hopefully, you know, getting a good job. What do you want to do? Uh, well, right now, I'm, like I said, I'm getting my degree in corporate communications. And uh, after that, I'll start grad school. I'm not really sure what I want to do in grad school, you know. Maybe uh, try to get into business school. You know, we have a good business school here. So, uh, you know, that's, that's my goals right now, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do, and then move on from there. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, that that's one thing that I'm looking forward to. You know, my role is going to change a little bit. But uh, Coach Applewhite, you know, let me know that I could, he could use my help. And, you know, I'll help him out in any way that I can, you know, helping the, the young running backs coming in and the running backs we have now, you know, just all the eyes that you have out there on the field, you know, helping you out help. So, you know, I'll be right behind uh, all our running backs and just trying to make – our team the best that it can be, you know, whichever way that is. Uh, you know, my coaches, they've, they've been supporting me, you know, they, uh, they wanted me to also really think about it, you know, just as far as my future goes and, uh, just make the decision, you know, they, they didn't try to rush me into anything or anything like that. They were, they were behind me a hundred percent, like I said. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I was planning on talking to Blaine, actually, you know, just because, you know, this isn't an easy thing. Like I said, you know, uh, even saying it now, you know, I've played, I've played football for forever. You know, I used to be in the living room tackling myself. So this, this is hard. But, uh, yeah, Blaine and others, you know, everybody on the team, you know, they're going to be real supportive. You know, I, we're like a family in the locker room. So I'm, everybody's going to be behind me 100 percent, you know, just be there for me. <laughs> uh, let's just say last week was tough for me. It was a tough week, you know. Uh, <laughs> I want to put out there that I was crying and all, but, uh, yeah, it, w it was tough for me. And, uh, you know, I just did a lot of praying, you know. Uh, you know, gr what I wanted to do growing up is I always wanted to play football just the rest of my life, just play football. But obviously that wasn't God's plan, you know, and uh, – I just did a lot of praying, and I'm sure uh, God has something different planned for me. And uh, I just have to, like, go to school, you know, get my degree. I mean, that's always been my goal, and see where God takes me. Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite highlight or moment. You know, just, just I guess what I'm going to miss the most is running out the tunnel with the guys, you know. Everybody, every single one of my teammates, you know, we have fun together. You know, even though we haven't had the season we want the season, we still had fun together. We're like a family in there. And th those are all my brothers, you know. And uh, 
that's that's just the part I'm gonna miss, you know, being out on the field with them. But you know, I'm still gonna be right there on the sideline, yelling, yelling at them, and trying to 